Um, just let everybody know before we start uh, why everything looks like this and why there's shadows behind us and everything is due to the fact that we are just getting settled in to our We're new place, our new studio. <laughs> so um, be sure to, you know, stay updated on that kind of stuff. Hi right, guys, today we really want to be able to talk about something really important and that's like supporting indie game creators mm -hmm. and game credit creators in general because... I feel like it's not talked enough about in the industry. I mean, like if you have a favorite indie game or game that people have created, either even if it's like triple A games, you know, even if it's like a VR game, no matter what it is, let us know in the comments down below because we would love to know about that. Yeah. Now, I feel as if the importance of not even just gaming in general, but the creation of video games is the people behind it. Yeah. And there is this really amazing podcast called The Heroes of Gaming. Um, what they do is they actually interview all types of creators out there that are in the game, like the game verse, whether that's like animators behind voice actors, like there's voice musicians. actors out there. Like there's anybody who's a part of just the gaming space. They interview them. Now we listened to a few of their episodes already and you could just definitely tell that there's so much heart behind mm -hmm. what they're doing. And we want to give like a signal fire here for you guys to just like check them out because Honestly, when you see people in the industry who have the same type of passion as not only we do, but the same type of passion that you can actually just celebrate, which is helping other people get noticed, helping other people carry the torch of creation. And virtual reality is the future of of so many other like little micro economies that are going to pop up and different things that that are going to become available, especially in the age of COVID. So like uh, if I, if I really need to socialize, but I don't want to go out and catch it, you know, be go to a super spreader event, I can go and do anything with as many people as I want. And none of us are going to get sick because we're miles and miles away, maybe even different countries apart. So you don't, you know, you, you can still do things. And I think that because, uh, of the COVID situation that it's going to kind of drive this new market and uh, there's, you'll see, it's going to, it's going to change the way we do everything. Because everybody is. wants that, that personal connection, but they can't. They can't do it because they can't. I it's, mean, it's an expensive hurdle. It's also. huge. Like one controller is three hundred to a thousand. So that's an expensive system for just two people. I think it's, I think it's a wise investment. I wouldn't be surprised if you see them and other companies investing even more. It's an emerging mm -hmm. technology, and as we explore it, think of it. This could be the new way we explore the universe. You know. I mean, it, 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 it's, you know, as we learn about things, I mean, who's to say this is an alien technology as it is, you know, who's to say, right? Who's, who's to, say? to say? Who's to say? I love He's it. The I VR love it. guru, freelance VR game tester. So if you really dive into this episode, you kind of actually feel as if like you, you're there with them. Like when we were listening to this, to this we actually got to hear from the guest um, what it means to be like a game tester for VR. So you got to think with virtual games and virtual reality in general, you put on a headset and you test these games for hours. And it's like the dedication that the guest had and showed us. I was like, wow, this is so true. And the questions that these guys ask on this podcast is absolutely amazing because it kind of shows you that they're not just there to talk about the game creation. They're not just there to talk about like, oh, how did you do this? They're there to hear the heart of it. Yeah, and a lot of, a lot of problems with interviewers is they kind of... Yeah. Don't they, a lot of interviewers ask the same question, mm -hmm. and one of my favorite interviewers is uh, Sean from The Hot Ones. Yeah. Um, and they have a lot of questions similar how, how he does, because they kind of like study the person who they're interviewing exactly. before they actually go on the interview. Yeah. Like, it's not just generic, like, what do you do? Who are you? Mm -hmm. Questions. It's like actually to the heart of what the creator or whoever they're interviewing does. Yeah. Um, so the it, the interviewer themselves are great. So it's like, it's, it's always like good to see interviewers doing different styles and they definitely have a unique style that a lot of interviewers don't have yeah i mean like when you really get into the nitty-gritty of all of this it's like you just tell that there's passion behind it and it's like more people i feel like in this industry and in the gaming industry in the video game industry no matter what kind of industry you're in in this field more people need to sit down and talk to people that really deserve to shine and it's not just about numbers for them either. Like some of the guests that you have on, you're like, wow, I've never heard of this person before mm -hmm. ever. And it's like, you see that they have like maybe just a few followers on Twitter and everything, but they're like some of the most like, 
I wouldn't even just say the iconic, but most like talented people you've seen. Like once you go and see and like, you know, do your social media stalk in and check out what the people, <laughs> the person's about. It's like amazing to see how they kind of in a way, um, like pick the people they want to have on, on the show. Cause it's again, like I'm tired of when people are just like, I'm going to interview the triple A games and that's right. it. You know, I'm going to interview the biggest voice actors out there and that's it. You know, they don't do that. They, they kind of scout out the people who they see that, wow, this guy has so much passion. Wow, they have so much passion. Let, let's let's have them on our show. Yeah. And it's like to know that they had humble beginnings to even know that they're like even getting more and more downloads on their podcast. Like it's absolutely amazing, you know. It's amazing to see something that is so humble take off from the ground like that because you not only do you end up supporting it more because you're like, wow, but it's like you have like your first time supporters and once they start getting bigger, you're like you could see that their origin story was always from the heart. Yeah, and it's always important to like Think about how, because like two of the biggest things with video games is the art and the music. Mm -hmm. And a lot of time people never know who the artist is behind the game or they never know who the composer is behind the music. And I think that these this podcast really shines in on who really makes yeah. the game what it is. Because a lot of times when you're thinking about a game, you think of like, oh, the voice actors, which, you know, voice actors are important. And of course, they're interviewing voice actors, too. Yeah. But it's also important to remember, like, the people who design the game and the people who are behind the mu music and, like, all the small things that makes a game a game, these people talk to. So yeah. it's really important to, you know, hear what they have to say, too. Yeah, here's another snippet from the show. I'll never forget the, the feeling that I got when I was playing Super Metroid in the wrecked ship. When you go into the wrecked ship and the power's off. Yeah. And then when you turn the power back on, how everything's, like, you know, different and, and alive. Um, that... that that's like a cinematic moment, you know. It feels it feels like a movie. It becomes emotional. Have you had those in your you know, lifetime playing video games? Yeah, I mean, I I hate to keep coming back to Hollow Knight, but I feel like there's a bunch of really cin cinematic moments in that game. There's a moment in Halo Three that stuck with me forever. Um, I don't really remember where it was, but you come around a corner of a mountain, and there's like this huge vista. And you see those giant walkers down in the valley, and they play the single key piano theme from the the Halo theme, and it's just the music cue and the way the camera is set up is just perfect. And I, I really want to try and create some of that stuff. We really want to check out the Heroes of Gaming podcast. Be sure to check all the links in the description down below. Again, we really just want to be able to. Um, not only just stay in contact with these guys because they're absolutely amazing what they're doing. The humbleness that they have just shined through the light of gaming is absolutely amazing because it, it shows, again, it shows you that people do care out there and it's not just about the, you know, oh, it's about the money or, oh, right. it's about, you know, like making these games be the best they're cooking because there's so much competition in the gaming sphere. Right. Like, and if, if you're into gaming... This is another way for you to study exactly what you can do yeah. to be in the gaming industry because it's not just about game design. There's a lot of other things that you personally, if, if you're a listener, you'd be like, oh, I didn't even know that exactly. existed. You can see different aspects that the gaming industry has and that might be something that you could do mm. in the future. Yeah, because I mean, they have the guests that they do have on, they always give advice to. So it's not, like the guests that they have on, it's not just about... Um, oh, look at me. Oh my God, I'm like famous and this and that. I'm in the game verse and whatever. No, it's they want to sit down. They want to have a discussion with you and they want to be able to help anybody kind of in a way champion them into that world. Yeah. So yeah, everything is in the description down below. We hope you guys check them out because what they're doing is absolutely amazing. Hey, what's up, geeks? It is Matt coming to you once again to let you know that without your support on Patreon and in the comments... We really can't do any of this. We are an entirely community-supported operation. And, uh, well, you're our community. So, you stay weird, you stay wonderful, we'll catch you next time.